Alrighty, um, if you guys might have missed a couple days or just need some help with this conservation momentum practice, um, I'm just going to go through a couple examples really quickly. All right, so our equation is M1V1 plus M2V2 equals M1V1 prime plus M2V2 prime. All right, um, Everything on the left side of the equal sign, so everything over here is what happens before the collision, and everything that happens on the right side of the equal sign is what occurs after the collision. If you want to make a note of that, you are more than welcome to do so. Okay, there are two different types of collisions. You have elastic and inelastic collisions. This equation goes with elastic collisions. Elastic collisions are collisions that um, after two objects hit, they bounce off of each other. Inelastic collisions are collisions where the objects stick together after they hit one another. So the equation that you'll use for inelastic collisions is very similar, but it looks like this. Okay, so I'll do a couple examples and then you guys will be able to see how this stuff works. All right, so what we have here is a big truck that's moving in um, at 10 meters per second and has a mass of 3,000 kilograms. It hits a little red car that has a mass of 1,000 kilograms and is stationary. It has a velocity of zero. That's all before the collision. After the collision, the truck, which has the same mass of 3,000 kilograms, all right, is moving at a certain speed that we're going to try and calculate, and the red car is now moving at 15 meters per second and still has a mass of 1,000 kilograms. So, you first have to ask yourself what type of collision occurred. Well, are they sticking together? No, they bounced off each other. They are not sticking together after the collision. So that would be the elastic uh, equation, which is the one right here we'll be using. So I'm going to rewrite it really quickly. M1V1 plus M2V2 equals m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2 prime all right so the mass of object one object one is the car right here object one or sorry is the truck all right the truck has a mass of 3,000 kilograms which you can see right here and it's moving at a velocity of 10 meters per second so we do 3,000 times 10. next part of the equation is the addition sign so that comes down now we have the mass of object 2, which is the little red car, which weighs 1,000 kilograms. We've got to multiply by the velocity of object 2, which is 0. So I will put a 0 here. That's everything before the collision. Now that I write the equal sign, everything on this side will be what happens after the collision. The mass of the blue truck is still 3,000 kilograms. So the mass of object 1 is still 3,000. But this time, we don't know how fast it's going, so we're going to keep it as V1 prime. That's what we want to solve for. Plus the mass of object 2, which is 1,000 kilograms, which you can see right here. And now, the little red car, object 2, is moving at 15 meters per second. So now we just use algebra to get V1 prime by itself. All right, 3,000 times 10 gives us 30,000 if you multiply these together. 1,000 times 0 is just 0. We can cross that off and just ignore it. All right, equal sign drops. Now we got 3,000 times V1 prime, which I guess we can just kind of combine like this, plus 1,000 times 15, which is 15,000. All right, we want to get V1 prime by itself, so we got to get rid of that 15,000 on the right side. In order to do that, we subtract 15,000. Whatever you do on the right side, you must do on the left. So we subtract 15,000 over here. 30,000 minus 15,000 gives you 15,000. Equal sign drops. We get 15,000 equals 3,000 V1 prime. All right, we're close. We got to get V1 prime by itself. How do we do that? We divide this side by 3,000. Whatever we do on the right side, we must do on the left. Divide this side by 3,000. All right, these cancel each other out. V1 prime is officially by itself. Equal sign drops. 15,000 by 3,000 divided by 3,000 should give you 5 meters per second as your answer. We showed our work, we used our units, we circled our answer, we're good. I know I went through it kind of quick, but you guys can always slow it down and go back if you need me to um, 
I, I don't know, I guess if I was going too fast. All right, second problem right here. Here is a medicine ball. It's one of those heavy balls that you'd see inside the weight room. That's object one. And here's a girl who's on ice skates. That's object two. Somebody throws the medicine ball to her. She's on ice, ice skates and she catches it and now they move together, okay? So after the collision, if they're moving together, that means it's an inelastic collision. Inelastic means after things collide, they stick together. So we're gonna use the inelastic equation, which you can see right here. So I'm gonna rewrite it down here, which is M1V1 plus M2V2 equals M1 plus M2V prime. All right, so the mass of object one, which is the medicine ball, is 15 kilograms. So I'm gonna write that here, times the velocity of object one, which is 20 kilometers per hour plus the mass of object two, which is the girl, she weighs 60 kilograms, times the velocity of the girl, which is zero, because she's not moving. Equal signs, now everything to the right equal signs after the collision. If the ball weighs 15 kilograms and she weighs 60 and they're considered one object now, the total mass between them is 75. It is mass of object one, which is 15 kilograms, plus the mass of object two, which is 60. So that gives you a mass of 75 kilograms. If you look, we want to figure out their velocity. So we do 75 times V prime. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to look at 15 times 20. So if you guys want, you can take a moment, put that in your calculator, do it in your head. But if you get 15 times 20, you should end up getting 300. All right, 60 times zero is just zero. We can cross that off and not even have to worry about it because 300 plus zero is still 300. All right, equal sign is next, 75 V prime falls. Now we gotta get V by itself. How do we do that? Get rid of the 75. In order to do that, you have to divide both sides by 75. These cancel each other out. V prime equals 300 divided by 75, which gives you four. So this case, they didn't use meters per second for velocity earlier in the problem. They used kilometers per hour. So your answer would be four kilometers per hour. Circle your answer and we are all good to go.